Okay, so this is uh, day two. So uh, we've basically prepped our um, beef wellington and uh, the first one is actually done. You can see how beautiful this looks. Isn't this a beautiful thing? Uh, what Jessica's gonna do is she's gonna show you the final stage of making the puff pastry and then we'll actually demonstrate how we make the beef wellington and what went into it and, uh, and then we're done. So Jessica, this is uh, basically, you did your last fold already, but you didn't roll it out, right? Yeah, so this is the sixth roll out. And how, how thin do you want this to be? Uh, they say, well, I've seen one quarter of an inch is pretty standard. One said no less than one eighth. So I suspect when you roll it too much, you flatten out and you risk it not rising, puffing as much as it were. So I'm going to try for one quarter of an inch, which I think is what that other one ended up being. Yeah, the other one was about a quarter and it was perfect. And it was a large, it was the larger of the two uh, tenderloin. So if you just get it the same as the last one, then we should have more than enough. Yeah, that's the hope. So we did three turns, two folds, uh, three folds, two turns each, which basically meant um, you have three layers and you do it uh, to the power of six, which if you calculate that quickly in your head, doo -doo 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 -doo, you get 729 layers. Wow, you're like rain man. Exactly. So there's about, there is literally 729 layers of uh, dough with 728 layers of uh, butter in between each of these doughs. So that's basically from coming from six turns and folds and rolls. And that's what makes it so delicious. Okay, so it looks like it's basically ready. No, no, no. Oh, this no? Is not, this is nowhere oh, it's, near. Oh, yeah, it's nowhere near. So, we'll come back when it's ready and when we're ready to construct the uh, beef wellington.